The candidates vying to replace Janet Barisi as state superintendent of public instruction are both stressing pay raises for teachers and reducing the number of tests public school students must take every year. Democratic nominee John Cox and Republican hopeful Joy Hoffmeister outlined their positions at a public forum Monday at the University of Central Oklahoma. Here's more from that forum in this ONR Extra. We aren't funding like we're investing in the future of our children, our most precious resources, and we need to do that in a way that is responsible to the taxpayer, but that will meet the needs so that we can set high expectations, but then provide the supports to achieve it, and then government needs to get out of the way and let our teachers teach. Not only increasing pay and trying to get it up to a minimum 35,000, which is what the state is, because every thousand we raise it is, is $50 million. So right now we're at the $31,000 level. And I've been really bold to say it really needs to be a minimum of 40 so we can entice young people into it. But if we can get to that 35 mark, maybe we can start increasing the, the pool of teachers coming in. But teachers get into the business because they love children and they want to make a difference. It's not about money, but you have to pay your bills. We have an over-testing, high-stakes focused uh, environment, which is really toxic. Those assessments need to be diagnostic as well as comparable capabilities so that we have good information to provide for our teachers to adjust instruction. Right now, we uh, over-test in every grade, and at my school, we begin in January and start test prepping. And so we really look at that child as a test score instead of that as an individual. And so what I want to do is give that classroom back to my teachers so they can teach all the way up till the end of the year and do away with these nonsense, what I call nonsense testing because they do really no good to improve instruction. One test on one day should not determine a child's future and especially not a third grader. We must make certain that our students are ready to read in third grade and beyond, certainly before that. But we need to make certain too that we have good assessments in place that can be given throughout the year. I do not believe in exit exams because I believe that a teacher in a classroom, if they're teaching biology too, they have the expertise, a child finishes that class, they should get the grade without having to take a test at the end. So let's get back to trusting teachers again as far as the accountability process. Thank you.